Luis Orozco playing over the national anthem. <laughs> talking about Veterans Day. Veterans Day is a time to honor the men and women that fight to keep our country safe. We would like to thank Mr. Holt, Ms. Weaver, and Ms. LaCour for participating in our video. Hi, I'm Billy Holt. I'm the IT teacher here at the high school. Uh, I am a retired veteran of the United States Air Force. I'm a retired Master Sergeant. Uh, 20 years in the service and retired. My father was 24 years in the Army. Uh, my dad made sure that I joined the Air Force because he he said, with my attitude, the uh, Army would probably give me a hard time, so I joined the Air Force. It's quite fun. Uh, Veterans Day holds a special place for me because it's a time to reflect upon those that have passed and those that are still alive. Uh, Veterans Day was actually Armistice Day and was the anniversary for uh, the end of World War I. And in 1954, it was changed to Veterans Day, which is to uh, celebrate those that are alive, those that still defend our country and our Constitution. Uh, my career was pretty easy. Uh, I started off at uh, Wichita, Kansas at a SAC base, and then moved to Biloxi, Mississippi. And from there, I spent five years in Saudi Arabia. Uh, I was there during the Gulf War, uh, before, during, and after. Uh, it was a unique time. Uh, but it was in the best defense of our country, and that's what all of us strive for. Uh, I guess the question that was asked was uh, what did I actually enjoy the most? And I really can't pick one thing out. Uh, it's like being in the biggest gang in the world with the best toys. Uh, so when, when I retired, I retired out of Las Vegas. I uh, worked for the Nellis Air Combined Air Operations Center. I got to play with all the cool toys. So. That was probably the best assignment I had was in Las Vegas. I teach social studies here. My husband served in the military for four years. He was in the Marine Corps in the early 90s. And we were married um, the last half of his service. And so I was stationed with him at Camp Pendleton, which is in California. What is the best part about being the wife of a veteran? One of the best parts about being a wife of a veteran is the military family, and um, we developed relationships that we still have, even though um, we all live in different parts of the country. These are still some of our best friends. The second part is um, just witnessing the sacrifices my husband made and knowing that I was just a tiny little part of that. Awesome. So why do you feel it's so important to celebrate Veterans Day? Well, as a history teacher, I kind of have to talk about what the history of it is. And um, it actually originated as Armistice Day, which is the um, end of World War I. And that was the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. And um, this is actually the 100th anniversary of the end of World War I. Um, and so later in the 1950s, President Eisenhower declared Veterans Day. Um, I think it's important because we have Memorial Day, and Memorial Day is to honor those who died in service, and Veterans Day is to honor those who are still living, and to um, make a point to thank them for their service. Awesome. Thank you so much. Good morning. 
My name is Mrs. LaCour, and as you know, I, well, some of you know, I've been married to um, Chris LaCour for 22 years, and for 13 of those years, he was active duty Marine Corps, so we got to move around quite a bit and live on bases and in base housing, and that was my first introduction to military life, so. That's awesome. So, what is the best part about being the wife of a veteran? Well, when we were active duty, I have to tell you that the most important part, or the most interesting part for me, was the diversity. We lived in many different communities. I met so many different people. As a teacher, I got to teach in seven different states and two different countries. I taught English as a foreign language in Korea, South Korea, which was fascinating. Uh, in Arizona, when, we, when I was there, the majority of my students were native Spanish speakers and native speakers of American Indian languages different languages, the Cocoa Paw tribe was the most prevalent one. But so the, the diversity in the in the communities were fascinating because, you know, everything was covered. You know, you didn't have to pay for anything. And uh, and medical was in, was incredible. Both of our children were born in the military and it cost seventy five dollars each to have our children. So that was incredible. So so I just and I, and I think the other thing that's extremely fascinating about living on base and being part of that community was that it's Regardless of your skin color or your hair color, your eye color, your economic background, we were family, and we had some of the most incredible block parties. Kids everywhere. <laughs> you know, so it was, it was fascinating. It was a great part to be bit, part of that family. So. Great. So why do you feel that it's important to celebrate Veterans Day? Well, you know, my grandparents and my grand my father was in Kentucky Military Institute. My grandfather was in Carson's Raiders and fought in Vietnam. My husband's grandfather was one of the people who were the paratroopers in D-Day. And then having lived in active duty with in, in those places, and also at 9-11, in oh my gosh, it was incredible how the base shut down and everything was on such red alert. Uh, these people put themselves in harm's way and risked their lives every single day and many of them are deployed for months and years at a time. They're not with their families at Thanksgiving. They're not with their families at Christmas. They sacrifice so much. So even if you don't agree with military or patriotism, uh, we owe them a debt of respect because they are the ones who provide us with the way of life that we're used to. So I, I feel very strongly that we should respect them. We should respect our flag. We should respect the fact that we live in one of the greatest countries on earth, and it's because of the people who sacrifice every single day as, as part of our active military. So, amen. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome, ladies.